This program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Children on this frightful night. Make sure that charity never sees the morning's light. Poor demons! Wow! Townsend, you must have learned this spell. special powers from your special book. Indeed I did, Timmy. But it only works on this one night of the year. All Hallows Eve. Come, Tim Tim. Dance with me and the demon children. and decay and change costumes with them. I'm having a great time, and I don't even know who Zoro is. I mean it, Simone. If you don't stop making a fool of yourself over Chad Harris, I'm gonna tell Mom and Dad. I mean, is it worth getting grounded over a guy that doesn't even know you exist? You don't know anything, Whitney, and if you have nothing better to do than be a tattletale, go ahead. That's your problem, not mine. Sorry, I'm just wondering where my girlfriend is. She went to make a phone call. She should be back by now. I can't wait a second longer. I'm gonna kiss him next dance. You're gonna kiss Miguel right here in front of everybody. Don't you think that's pushing it a little? I have to make my move, Simone. Where's Charity? Right there, dancing with Zara. Oh. Reese. They were made for each other. I have to position myself so that Charity sees me and Miguel kissing. That way, when she sees he's mine, she won't even think about coming after him because she's such a goody two-shoes. Eventually, you'll have to return to the scene of the crime, Hank. And that phony police uniform is not going to protect you. Because I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Wow, 
you did that. I told you tonight called for desperate measures, Simone, and they worked. Did you see the way Miguel kissed me? It was something all right. I didn't know if the two of you were ever come up for air. I know. I could tell that he didn't want it to end. Oh, you're forgetting one thing, Kay. Miguel thinks it's charity in that dance of Rojas tonight. Okay. Maybe he thought it was charity when we started to dance, but it was my lips that he just kissed. And boy, did he kiss me. Do you think Charlie would kiss me like that? Of course he does, no, and you just have to be patient like me. Anyway, once Charity realizes that it was Miguel who kissed me and he loved every second of it, she'll never want anything to do with him again. He's finally going to be mine, Simone. And for once, Jessica can't spoil everything for me. Unlike my sister. <sighs> Good luck. Don't leave me alone with okay? Simone, you've got it all wrong, okay? I'm not the enemy here. Really? Then why do you want to ruin the one thing that makes me happy? Chad Harris is trouble, Simone. You've got to get that through your head. Oh. You know, it's one thing to boss me around and threaten to squeal to mom and dad about catching me out late at night, but I have every right to be here, and so does Chad, and you need to get yourself a life. Sorry, I'm still worried about my date. If you excuse me, I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, this is crazy. No one's gonna be able to hear me over the music. And I didn't let on that I knew he was the phantom. And where was Gwen? Oh, she must have gotten s stuck somewhere, like maybe in a storage closet? Down the hall? <laughs> no, Teresa! <laughs> that is outrageous even for you. I know, and I don't think I would have dared without my disguise, but oh, it was worth it being in Ethan's arms. Uh, Gwen is not going to stay locked in a storage closet for the rest of the night. I know, but maybe I can squeeze out one more dance for you. Where do you get your nerve? I'm just born with it, I guess. Of course, if my brother Luis was here, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Yeah, because you'd be the one locked up. You know Luis has no sense of humor when it comes to anything to do with the cranes. I've just one question, Sheridan. Why? I didn't Is know this that... your way of getting back at me? No, I swear well, then I didn't. What was it? It's Halloween. I was just trying to have a little fun. I, I thought you were Hank. Hank? We were on our way to the youth center dance when Hank was trying to show me how the kids of Harmony have fun on Halloween by trick-or-treating and pulling pranks on each other. I was just trying to get in the spirit. The spirit? I never meant to hit you with the pies. I mean, do you really believe I, I would hit you with, with your sense of humor? Uh, what I mean to say is... I know what you mean. You have a big room. Sheridan, just go away. But... Uh, Sheridan, now. I want that mugger apprehended and booked ASAP, Chief Bennett. Uh, having him on the loose makes me look like a fool after my war on crime election platform. I want the streets of Harmony safe. What the hell is this? Mr. Mayor, what's going on, Luis? We've got a dangerous felon at large, and this officer is playing Halloween pranks. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is one of my finest men. He's a disgrace. What's this? Another officer making a fool of himself? Trick or treat! I'm not a cop. What's going on? It's all my fault. I've got to explain. Excuse me. Back off, Sherry. I'm Oh, is that so, officer? From the looks of things, I'm not so sure you're up to handling anything. I've got a good mind to fire you. Uh, just hang on a minute, Mr. Mayor. I mean, we're assuming that this is the police officer's fault. At least give him a chance to explain himself. I'm listening. 
Reese, tell him what happened. It wasn't anyone's fault. It was, it was a misunderstanding. I'll, uh, I'll get myself cleaned up and get back on duty. Everything's under control. Oh, is that what you think, officer? Louise! I assure you, Mr. Mayor, my only concern tonight is apprehending the mother. And just what were you planning on subduing him with, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald? Another one of your cream pies? No, I was prowling around this area when no, I... No, you know, no, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Every time I hear your name, Lopez Fitzgerald, you're causing me another one of your problems. That's not true, Mr. Mayor. It... Don't tell me that this is the officer that you recommended for a promotion to detective. Yes, it is. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is one of my finest men. He has a spotless record. You know, he's very fortunate to have you in his corner. So I'm going to do him a favor. I'm not going to fire him for his shameful behavior. But I'll be damned if he ever makes detective while I'm in office. I'm sorry, Louis. I'm going to try and talk to him. and the afterlife. Never mind. But I'm going to get my wish tonight. Tonight, Tabitha's going to get her powers back. Oh, I can feel them returning already, seeping through my pores. Come back to me. That's not true. You're just saying that. Maybe later? Can I get you a drink? Sure, that would be great. Come on. We can take our masks off here since no one can see us. <sighs> That's so much better. Are you having any fun at all in that costume? <laughs> it's not too bad. Uh, your friend that I was dancing with is so nice. Who is he, Jessica? I can't tell. It would ruin the surprise. He's the first guy who's ever put his arms around me. At least that I can remember. Do you need anything, Chad? No, oh, hey, Simone. No, I'm okay. Your sounds are truly blazing. You are an amazing DJ. I've had a lot of practice. Yo, how about this for my next song? You know, all I want to do is save Simone from getting her heart broken. And she's making me out to be some kind of monster. She's in love, Whitney. Well, you understand when you fall in love. He brings back, and he didn't find Gwen. Watch me get another dance with him. Teresa, easy. If he finds out it's you under that mask, he won't. At least not until I want him to. No. Sometimes the line to the woman's restroom can be so very long. No, then that might be it. Maybe she went there after she made a phone call. Please, can somebody hear me? Is anybody out there? Oh my God, someone's in there? Oh, thank God! Thank God. Yes, I locked it. Please open the door. Thank you. Are you okay? 
yes, thank you so much. Sure, but how did you get stuck in there? I don't know. It must have locked behind me, but my poor boyfriend must be going out of his mind wondering where I am. Thank you so much. Well, maybe another dance while you're waiting for her? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, hey, why not? Oh. <laughs> So what's your name, anyway? Oh, isn't that against the rules? Well, I wouldn't know. I've never been to one of these dances at the youth center before. The way it works is nobody's supposed to know who anyone is until we're told to take off our masks. Oh, I see. <laughs> charm for my bag. Jimmy doesn't want to touch that. Just give it to me, you dummy. They're only animal parts. But Jimmy wants to know what animal and what part. Oh, never you mind about that. Once these flames feast on this, charity will be dead meat, so to speak. <laughs> she will never learn. She was born with the power to destroy me. Stop! Oh, no, not you again! I may have lost the gift of sight, but my other senses are keen. I will not allow you to prey on the innocent and the pure of heart. May your evil be subdued, as are these flames, by the holy water. Damn you! You have to believe me, Luis. I didn't know I was throwing the pies at you. I thought you were hanged because of the uniform. It's true. We were just fooling around in the spirit of the holiday. I got her with a water balloon. And I was going to get him back with the cream pies. I never meant to hit you. I am so sorry for getting you in trouble with the mayor. You have been in my face ever since the day I ran into you. Scratch that, the day that you ran into me. But I didn't mean to do... That's what you've been saying this whole time. And all I know is that I am counting the minutes until you finish your community service so that I do not have to see your face again. Believe me, the feelings are mutual. Wait a minute. You're supposed to be putting in some time tonight. Why aren't you and Hank Chaperone in the dance we were at the center? We on our way over there when all this went down, okay? Sheridan, let's go. Forget it. It's practically over now. Well, don't blame her for it. Oh, I know. That's right. It's never her fault. What is the matter with you? I admit that I'm wrong. Why can't you just accept a genuine apology? An apology? From you? No, thanks. I don't want anything from you. Just stay away from me and let me do my job. Don't let it get you down. Look, since we're off the hook for the dance, uh, we say we go get a drink. Not tonight, Hank. Come on, you're not gonna let him ruin your whole evening, are you? I'm sorry, but there's something I've gotta do right now. What do you think you're doing, Simone? Dancing, what does it look like I'm doing? Oh, what well, looks like you're making a fool out of yourself trying to get Chad's attention. Are you gonna tell mom and dad on me for dancing alone now? I'm not gonna tell on you, period, Simone, unless you force me to. 
What is it with you, Whitney? It's not like I'm making out with Chad in the middle of the dance floor like Canadians with Bluebeard. I am at a school dance. Chad is the DJ. He's too busy to dance with me. So what's the big deal? I just wish you would at least take a look at some of the other nice guys here. A lot of them would love to dance with you, Simone. You don't get it, do you? I'm not interested in any of your nice boys. I like Chad. Even if he doesn't even know you're alive. He knows I'm alive. He's just acting cool. That's how he is. Would you like another soda, Chad? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Simone. Sure. I looked everywhere I made a you. wrong turn down the hallway and got locked in the storage room. Uh, were you worried? Very. I, I, I couldn't imagine where you went. Well, it's lucky I met this mystery lady or I would have made myself crazy worrying about you. How nice of her. Thank you so much for taking care of my boyfriend. Okay, people, listen up. I've been told it's time for the great unmasking. Time to see who that mystery person is you've been dancing with. So on the count of three, I want y'all all to reveal y'all true identities. All right, one, two. I wonder what Miguel is going to do when he sees I'm the girl he's been kissing, the girl whose body he's been holding close. Me, not Charity. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Three. <laughs> Ethan? Teresa. Oh, my. Miguel. I'm sure you don't remember me, but I'm Sheridan Crane. Julian's sister? And Alistair's daughter. Guilty as charged. I'm not surprised you didn't recognize me. Forgive me. Forgive you? I, I should say not. I'm the one who owes you an apology. It's just that it's been so many years. Oh, too long. I've been in Europe, but I'm, I'm back home now. Well, I knew that, of course. It's, it just slipped my mind. My, my wife and I haven't seen you. Well, you must come for dinner soon. I would love that. But now, about Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. And what was it that you were saying? It's just that I've had the occasion to spend some time with him, and I can tell you from first-hand experience that he is a very conscientious police officer. Almost to a fault, some might say. So if anyone is to blame for the undignified incident with the pies, it's me. I still don't see how that... It's just that when I threw the pies at the officer, I thought that he was someone else. But before I could realize my mistake, it was too late, and that's when you came along. So why didn't he just say it was your fault? Because he comes from the old school, where a gentleman never blames a lady for anything, even when she is at fault. So that's why I wanted to clarify the situation. Yes, I see. So you'll reconsider your opinion of the officer? Certainly. I'll put a call into Chief Bennett tomorrow. Well, you could take care of it right now. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is just down the block, still on patrol. Well, let's go and tell him the good news. Oh, oh you, you, you don't need me. Well, don't be modest. He'd still be in hot water if not for you. Come along, Sheridan. Uh-oh. Father in heaven, send the wretched and the damned back where they came from. Strip them of the power they would use to wreak havoc. No! I have crossed paths with you before. Never again will you terrorize the good people of this town. Hurry, tell, but before it's too late. He's bluffing. Remember the crosses that were burned into your hands? Why don't you and your boss just go away and mind your own business? Not as long as you exist. Wipe that smug little smile right off your face.
Grace, Grace. Honey, it's Sam. Oh. Honey, what happened? Sam, thank God. Oh, I had the most terrifying nightmare. There was a fire. It started in the fireplace, and it, and it was everywhere. And there were screams like, like people were dying. It must have been a nightmare about the fire that killed your sister. Maybe. But the fire was right here in this room. It's like it, it wanted to consume me. And Charity, I think. I... Oh, Sam, it was just awful. It's okay now. I'd never let anyone or anything harm you or our family. Listen, I promise you that. I can't believe it. I had no idea that you were Zoro. Well, now that you know, are you sorry you danced with me? No. I wasn't scared of you at all tonight. Hey, thanks again for setting me up with Kay tonight, Miguel. Did you see that big one she planted on me? <laughs> I think everyone did. <laughs> hey, Kay, uh, I told you this could be your night. Actually, I can't take all the credit. It was Jessica's idea for Reese and me to switch costumes. Jessica? It was the least I could do after you conned Charity into wearing that geeky costume so you could go as the dancing girl. I am going to We'll be right back. This. You know, if that song you played before was supposed to be some kind of dig at me, you have got it backwards because you are the one with the colossal ego. Then how come you thought that song was about you? I know. Because you think everything is about you. I mean, maybe I just wanted to hear that song. Did that ever occur to you? I don't care what song you play, Chad. But if you think for a second you know anything about me... I know, I know. You keep telling me. I don't have the faintest idea who you really are. Well, you don't. But you keep giving your kid sister a hard time because you think you know all there is to know about me. Trust me, I know more than I want to know. Girl, you don't have a clue. <laughs> you and, and Gwen here? This is so amazing. Really? And you were the one who directed me to where the payphone was supposed to be. Oh my gosh, that was you? Mm -hmm. I didn't recognize you with your mask on. Well, you found it, didn't you? Actually, no. That turned out to be the storage room that I got locked in. Oh, how awful. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I am. I really missed you, darling. Uh, I missed you. I'm so embarrassed. I, I would have never asked Ethan to dance with me if I had any idea who he was. Uh, you two are the last people I expected to see here tonight. Well, the irony is uh, Gwen and I are here because of you. Gwen had an idea that she wanted to do you a little favor. A favor? We were going to see if we could get you together with that guy you're crazy about. <sighs> wow. That's really nice. Not too late for us to still do that. Where is he, Teresa? I'm sure he's here somewhere. I'll go see if I can find him. Excuse me. <laughs> Interesting that Teresa was so caught up dancing with you that she completely lost track of this guy she's got such a mad crush on. Gwen, look, the reason we came here tonight is so I could show you that Teresa is not competing with you for my affections. Don't tell me you're still jealous. Officer. Miss Crane was kind enough to take the time to explain to me what really happened earlier. I already did that, sir. You neglected to tell me that uh, Miss Crane was the instigator. As such, I would like to amend what I said. The incident will not be counted against you. Uh, there's no question of your being fired. And you're back in line for promotion to detective. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, then. No harm done. Wonderful to see you, Sheridan. Please give my regards to your brother and father. Of course. Good night, then. Good night. Now you expect me to get down on my hands and knees and thank you? Hardly. In fact, I don't expect anything from you. I was just trying to right a wrong. I hope I did. Why? So you can lord it over me from now on? You know, you are unbelievable. Just so you understand, I don't need any help from you or any other high and mighty crane. 
I'm not like everyone else in this town who scrapes and bows before you. I'll make detective on my own. Not so fast, Louise. I'm not finished with you yet. The less I know about you, the happier I will be. That'd suit me fine, so back off and leave your sister alone. Stay away from Simone, Chad. Do you get that? What is your problem? I mean, what? Am I kind of some kind of Hannibal Lecter wannabe looking to make him my next victim? Simone is very young and inexperienced, Chad. Oh, unlike you, you mean. Just tell me something, Chad. Are you interested in her or not? She's a nice kid. See, I should have known I would never get a straight answer from you. I'll tell you one thing about Simone. She's for real. Unlike a princess older sister. So look, why don't you just climb on back to your high horse and ride on out of here? I will. But I'm taking Simone with me. tracks before Miguel realizes why you got Cherry to switch costumes with you. Thanks for talking me into coming, Jessica. I'm glad it all worked out. You know, I think Kay had a really good time, too. I had no idea that she was so crazy about Reese. Oh, yeah, she's got major feelings for him. <laughs> Don't look now. Miguel is headed right this way. I don't want to be jealous of Teresa, Ethan. This is all just a little too coincidental. And the way she was looking at you when you two were dancing. Come on, Gwen. I mean, Teresa didn't even know we were coming here, much less what costume we were wearing. I just feel a lot better when I've met the boy of her dreams. So, where is he? I can't find him anywhere. He must have gone home. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I'll say. <sighs> I still feel funny about dancing with Ethan while you were locked in that storage room, Gwen. Can you forgive me? Once you have me hypnotized, there was nothing I could do. You'll have to excuse me. But I'm on duty. See, some of us poor suckers have to work for a living, you know? Enough of the zingers already! I get that you hate my guts because my last name is Crane. I feel bad about what I did to you tonight. I want to make it up to you. You've done enough already. But I can do more. Whether you like it or not, my family has a lot of pull in this town. My father can call the mayor and put in a good word for you. He'll listen to him. You'll get your promotion before you even know it. Let me tell you something, Sheridan. If I thought that for one minute I made detective because of someone in your family, I'd turn it down flat. I'll either earn it myself or I don't want it. You know, you are the most impossible, insufferable man I've ever known. You really want to do something for me? Finally. You're letting reason win out over your macho pride. What can I do? Stay the hell out of my life! Are you feeling better now, honey? Yes, now that you're here. That dream is so real, I can't get it out of my head. It was like these... Tortured souls were calling out for me to help them, even while they surrounded me. It was frightening, but it was pitiful, too. Must have been. I wonder who they were. I feel sorry for them. I know I married a softie. I mean, you care about everyone we know. <laughs> you even cry at long-distance phone company commercials. <laughs> And now you're worrying about imaginary lost souls? Let it go, honey. It wasn't real. Ah, uh, we ditched him, Timmy. Yeah, but first call, Teddy. That priest sure can't run. Damn him. Damn him for costing me my rightful powers. I was so close to getting them back. Tabitha. Tomorrow's too late, Timmy. Halloween only comes once a year. Does that mean the priest won? Maybe the battle.
but not the war. <sighs> that priest will live to rue the day that he foiled my plans. Every little setback makes me all the more determined to knock off charity and bring havoc to this pathetic little town. But how, Tabitha? Without your powers? We need an ally, Timmy. And I have just the one. Grace Bennett's daughter, Kay. Would you excuse us, Simone? I need to talk to Kay in private. Um, sure. I know what you were up to tonight, Kay. Look, maybe if you just let me explain... You don't need to. I know exactly why you did it. And I can't thank you enough. Thank me? Yeah, I mean, it was inspired of you to change costumes with Charity. You think so? Genius. I mean, she knew that I thought she was going as a dancing girl, so it never occurred to her that I was the person that kept asking her to dance. Thanks to you, she finally realizes there's no reason to be afraid of me anymore. Oh, right. And what a night. Not only am I finally getting back to where I want to be with Charity, but you snagged Reese. But... And don't <laughs> deny it. I mean, after the way you kissed him in front of everyone, there's no question that you two are hot and heavy. And nobody would dare make a move on either one of you after tonight. Chad, the music you're playing tonight was so fly. Everyone said so. Cool. So, I'll see you around school. Yeah, you bet. Uh, you better get going. The chaperone's giving me the evil eye. <sighs> nice, then. All right, thanks. You ready? Yes, I am. But this isn't the end of Chad and me. I'll be seeing a lot of him around school now that he looks for Dad. And there is nothing you can do about it. There's nothing to forgive, Teresa. <laughs> I know there could never be anything between you and Ethan. Well, that's good. <laughs> I just am so sorry that your night didn't work out. I mean, to have to spend the whole evening dancing with my boyfriend instead uh, I, of yours. I don't mind. I mean, to tell you the truth, Ethan's a much better dancer than a guy like me anyway. <laughs> You're a terrific partner. You're so light on your feet, you make it seem easy. 